All right, here we go. First plane of the day. It's Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2014. We're here at fabulous Austinburgs from International Airport. Deep in the heart of Central Texas. This looks like a Gulf Stream. Long wings, narrow body. I love this airplane. Could be wrong. Nah, it's a G5. G5. Sharp looking plane there. Sharp looking plane. Nice. Flying. Safely on the ground. Head over to the general aviation area. Get parked. Spend a beautiful day here in Austin. Okay, way over there on the other runway. There it is. The Allegiant Air. Let me let me look at the camera instead of the uh, instead of the airplane. There we go. Just thought it'd be interesting. Allegiant Air. Something different, new, exciting. It's not a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737. I believe it's a 757. This is the view of the long runway we get here. That 787 BA will be flying in here. This is what I can expect, video-wise. Better than nothing, I guess. Okay, some more general aviation about to take place here at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. What is this? It's like that little Cessna Citation looking thing. I think that's what they are, it's a Citation. See them get on the ground here. I don't know what, yeah it is. I don't know, yeah. A little tilted there, there he goes. Got to straighten out before he touched down. Get down the runway a ways. Why fly? What? Why roll when you can fly all the way down to the general aviation part of the airport? Okay, you be the judge. Chemtrail or contrail? Contrails, you know, from past video experiences with my YouTube channel that contrails are a myth. Chemtrails, now those are reality. This guy's going right over the airport. Definite chemtrails. It's got to be. Could, there's no other explanation for it. Meanwhile, some little baby airplane. Let's see how it goes here for him. Oh, where is he? I lost him. There he is. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got. We got a crosswind out here today. Making for challenging landing conditions. He was up to it. That was a dull, dull landing. Once again, we have encountered a dead spot in today's video creation from Austin Bergstrom International Airport. And now I bring you something completely different. Here you go, Grace. Get that fish. Get the fish, Gracie. Get the fish. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. It's back. Yeah, it's under. It's got to be underneath it. Or hey, all right, you won, Gracie. Good job. Hey, a little baby airplane approaching one seven left here at Austin Berks from International Airport. Single engine, propeller driven contraption, I believe. Yes, that's what it is. Single engine, propeller driven contraption. That's a pretty good pan. Every time I have to step, you can see me move. See the jiggle in the camera. Nice flying. Good work, good work there. All right, there's an airplane out there. I don't know where he is. He's out there. I know he's in the frame. I just can't see him. We've had a wind shift. It was, well, I don't know what it is. It looked like it was sort of north when I got here but they were still operating north to south. They, they've switched that around. It's now north to south, or I mean south to north. But the wind is almost dead out of the west. Well, now it's out of the north, now it's out of the west. Now it's out of the south. The wind is confused today. The wind is very confused. Let's see, we have a, a 737 operated by Southwest Airlines. Heading down to the south end. 
three five right for a northbound departure. It's going to be exciting to see this guy leave. There's a little uh, little small general aviation operation about to take place down there at the end of the runway. Let's see, there he is, way down there. He's getting focused. He's in focus. I think should be at F stop 14. Everything should be in focus, shouldn't it? Maybe not. Lock down the camera. It'll work better. There we go. Now we'll sit here and we'll wait for this aviation operation to commence. Single engine, taxpayer supported aircraft sliding on into the Texas Department of Transportation hangar. Hey! Hey! This guy's on the move. Where is he? There he is. Okay. He almost got out of the frame before I caught him. That would have been tragic. What a crisis. A crisis. It's the only thing we got going on here and I miss it. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Good flying. Another Valentine's Day general aviation operation taking place. Arriving 35 right as seen from the family viewing area here at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. We are accepting flights from other countries. Well, that, especially uh, starting uh, next month at the, U the UK. I don't know if it's coming from Heathrow or Gatwick, Manchester. Anyhow, 787 operated by British Airways will be flying in here. Most likely using 35 left, which is about a mile away over on the other side of the airport. Hopefully it's a very large airplane, allowing me to get some decent footage of it. It'll probably be a pretty busy day here when that thing lands for the first time. It'll be probably probably be kind of cool. All right, there is some definite general aviation operation action taking place. Here we go. Next, general aviation operation about to get underway. Wait for that last arrival to get off the runway. He's sitting down there like, come on, man, it's Valentine's Day. I got to get out of here. Get up to Dallas. Pick up my wife from the plastic surgeon. That's what she got for Valentine's Day. Nose job. And uh, maybe a little liposuction, I bet. Hold on to your bourbon. We are taking off. I don't know. What do you drink on Valentine's Day? Gin? Yeah, sure, why not? Tanqueray. The green stuff. The stuff in the green box. I think that's that Gulfstream. Came in, dropped off his passenger, she's out of here. Said, I'm blowing this joint. And he's out of the frame. That's a tough shot. I, I just don't have the skills. Maybe the equipment. We'll blame the equipment. Okay, way down there on the end of the runway, it's a Boeing 737 operated by our favorite airline here in Austin, Southwest. It's blue, it's orange, it's a 737, it's Southwest. Here we go, she's got the throttles open. Ridding the world of petroleum products, gallons at a second. Magic moment coming right at us. Nice flying. How's the camera work? Kind of looks like a shadow out there. Gears up. And getting behind the tree. She is out of here. Good job. Okay. Well, 
Due to a general lack of aviation activity today at Austin Bergstrom from International Airport, I uh, have for you a, an extreme diversion from today's planned video creation. Fish is in there somewhere. It's got to be. It's got to be in there someplace. Get it, kitty. Get it. Get the fish, kitty. It's not much fun. <laughs> we'll get this cat playing solitaire tomorrow. Take off roll commencing. C5 right. General aviation, I believe. More general aviation. Valentine's Day general aviation. Going to Reno. Reno, Nevada. I like Reno on this one. I think this is general. This could be commercial. It's a pretty big airplane. Nah, it's, yeah, it's commercial, all right. How did I miss this guy taxiing out there? It's United Express. He's heading for Houston in all, in all likelihood. Just going to Houston. Taking a plane load of, of, of Valentine's Day revelers to Houston. Get out there, he'll make a good right turn. Let's see if we can check it the whole way. And maybe confirm he's gonna head off to the southeast out of Austin, going to Houston. He is uh, getting far away. He's gonna go behind the tree and it's gonna be pointless to follow him. From the looks of it, this is an American MD. 80 variant coming in into a pretty good north wind strange because it's like 82 degrees and the wind is out of the north usually this time of year when the wind is out of the north it's 32 degrees maybe 42 uh, if you want 82 you got to have that south wind coming up out of the tropics off the gulf of mexico el golfo de mexico uh, but you know this stuff out of oklahoma it's 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 hot out you know because i've been used to the cold so i'm sitting out here nice smoky very good very good very good landing entertaining you can count on american for some entertainment i guess probably flying down from dallas here to austin capital city texas dallas probably thinks it's the capital city but it's not trying to find you got I don't have any mechanical flight taking place so I got some biological flight taking place out there I'm just pointing the camera I'm hoping I'm catching it I might not be he's going up he's going down he's flying around trying to get out of the wind a bit he's flying north straight into it looks like that crane is picking something up over there that's pretty interesting There, I don't know if you can hear the wind in my fancy new microphone or not. It is definitely starting to blow, however. Get over here to the wind sock. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Give you some idea of what we're facing out here today, aviation-wise. All right, here we go. Jet blue. It's got to be an Embraer. It doesn't have to be, I guess. It could be. It could be a Airbus, but it looked Embraer-ish. Taxiing down there. Let me uh, pay attention to what I'm doing here. There we go. Get on the Embraer, man. Need to be on the Embraer. Get, get the tripod ready. Here he goes, Embraer. JetBlue, Embraer. St. Paul, Minnesota. St. Paul. Non-stop service from Austin to St. Paul. 82 to a minus three. Feeling lighter, magic moment, off the ground. Kicking the tripod, lost him, there we go, there we go, I got him back, I got him. How can you tell it's an amateur running the camera? Well, he does stuff like that, kicking the tripod. Got him behind the tree, a little more practice, I'll have that shot down. 